What is up everyone on YouTube? Welcome to Manverse VR. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play the Oculus Rift exclusive Lucky's Tale on your Gear VR or Google Cardboard ready device. The main thing you're going to need is a Gear VR or a Google Cardboard ready headset. Next you're going to want an Xbox controller. I'm using one from the Xbox One but I've heard the 360 controllers are working also. You're also going to need an Android 5.0 plus phone, so anything from 5.0 up an app called V-Ridge, a software on your PC called Riftcat, a 5 GHz Wi-Fi connection or a USB cable for tethering if possible, and for some more in-depth, here is the list of recommendations on specs for your required setup. Now the final piece to the puzzle that you're going to need is going to be a beautiful software called Revive. Now this is going to be what makes all of this possible and all of these different softwares able to connect. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to oculus.com slash setup, link down below, and download your Oculus software. I've already got it, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. I don't think I canceled it in time, a little slow there. Okay, so after you download the software and have everything installed, it's going to prompt you to make an account, and if you make an account, you're going to get something that looks like this on your screen. So what you want to do is you'll want to go to either search and type it in yourself. And it should be there on the list. It should be free. Um, this is one of the nice things about Oculus is they're giving this game away free right now. So you should be able to get it and pick it up for free. And surprisingly, it is a very, very fun game to play. And VR, the 3D is really, really fun, and it's kind of neat to just look around freely while also controlling someone who's below you. I didn't think I'd enjoy this game, but I actually ended up enjoying it quite a bit. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is download the Revive software, which is going to be in the description down below because it's got a funky little URL, but I'll go ahead and show it on the screen. Um, and then you're going to want to come over here, and you're going to want to download the installer. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do after you've installed Revive and installed your Oculus software, you're going to want to download the RiftCat software at RiftCat.com. You will see it right here at the top right. You just click Download Client. Now be forewarned, this is a $20 software, but listen to this. If there is a free version, and you get the free version and then you can pay for the unlimited access so basically what it does is it does what everybody else does with their VR apps they give you a 10 minute time limit and then you have to restart the app and start over but I'm going to let you guys know that this app is completely worth it it taps into the Steam VR software it uses the Steam VR 3D and it looks amazing and I honestly am just astonished by how well this app works and it's really really nice and you guys are gonna love the things that I'll be bringing forth to you guys with this app here in the near future. Okay, so the next step you want to take is downloading the uh, V-Ridge app on your mobile device. Now this is a very important part, so you want to go ahead and download this, install it, and I will take you to the next screen. Okay, so now that you've downloaded all your software, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a RiftCat slash V-Ridge account and make sure that the account that you're using for your RiftCat software is the same one as your email that you're using on your mobile device so that way if you do purchase the app there's no mix-ups and you can connect the apps through your email now after you've done that you should get a window that looks something like this on your screen don't mind that you're not ready for that yet and what you're going to do is you're going to see this in your window and then you're going to your phone and you're going to click the V-Ridge app and it should take you to a window like this and you'll want to click on your Steam VR games and then that's when this should pop up on the side okay so the next thing you're going to want to do is before you do anything because you're on your phone you're going to see a little square if you look down and you're going to be like an empty space you're going to want to go to your settings no I'm sorry not your settings you're going to want to pull up your Steam window Go to your library, go to VR, and you're going to see your room set up. We're going to hit play on that, and you're going to do standing only. It's going to say a headset is ready. You're going to click next. You're going to want to calibrate your center. So what you're going to want to do is basically if you're sitting in a chair, you want your center to be where you're going to be look at straight forward. 
calibrate center. Boom. Next. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to calibrate the height of your head. Now because we have no type of motion sensing software or hardware involved, we're going to have to do this manually. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to Google and type in your height. I am 5 foot 10 in centimeters. Boom. And okay, so 5.8377.8 centimeters is how tall I am. So what you're going to do is you're going to then go back to this window, paste that in there, and you're going to calibrate where your floor is. And what this does is this therefore gives you your height in VR. So if you're only two foot tall, it'll give you two foot tall height and so on and so forth. Um, and then your setup is complete. Boom. There you go. You are now ready to insert your device into your headset. And we'll go ahead and put on mirror mode. See, now this is my headset moving around. As you see, because I'm using the Gear VR, there's no room scale, but there is your stand-up mode. So now what we're going to do is hit the home button on the Xbox controller, and it should launch the dashboard. Now, since you have installed the Revive software, you're going to hit start, and you'll see Revive down here on the bottom, but don't worry about that. You don't want to click that anyway. Click start again. Go back up here, and you're going to see Lucky's Tail. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to launch your Lucky's Tail in VR. And there you go. You now have Oculus Studios exclusive Lucky's Tail on your mobile device. Then as you see, you can look around freely. And enjoy a game that was not meant to be played on your cellular device. Lucky and Piggy are the best of friends. They curl up to sleep when the day ends. But Lord crept in, looking for a treat. And took Mr. Piggy as something to eat. Gave a yelp, and Lucky leapt from bed. He raced off to help. I'm coming, Piggy! I'm coming! As the wily Glor fled. 
A golden coin trail showed him the way. This is Lucky's Tale. And it's time to play. Yeah. <laughs> 